No, 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 no heroes. No, 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 no heroes. No heroes, baby. So, hello again, friends. We are back with round three. We got again Marvin on stream. Why did we decide to put Marvin again? Because he's playing against a good friend, Mert. So we have Marvin against Mer, two friends playing against each other. We have Jiren against Guki GT that we saw already in the last round. Both players 2-0. And now let's see the power of Jiren. For sure one of the best decks. He's going first. Play a Piccolo, draw one card. Okay, there's only Leader Swing. Nothing to play here for Marvin. 4-1. Now the leader swing from Jiren, go through, 4-1, <laughs> whoa, that's a good start. So for one there is Muten Roshi, draw one card, then again for one there is another Piccolo, draw one card. So the first two turns from Jiren was just play the one drops that draws one card. These are very important for every matchup because um, there are also 5k combos. So you can just defend your leader with them. So very important start here for Mert. Now we see 4-2 energy uh, pan. He will attack with a pan. Attack goes through. Now the pass. So there's no 3-drop Goku. That would be very strong here. Only the pawn. That doesn't... Yeah, okay. The card is very important for this matchup, but not for this early matchup. Later it will be important, because you can use the effect with energy marker to bounce back um, the Jiren. This is very strong. But we don't see it yet. We see a 3-drop Goku that gets rid of the pawn. So, seems like a good start for Mert here. So, let's see. Yeah, I still need to think what card should I use as an energy. There are some options. We see a 10 times Kamehameha in hand. But okay, he decided to put Bardock in. Now swings with leader. Draws a card. Tech goes through. He did draw a. Three drop Bardock, that is also very important for this matchup. But he's important for every matchup. Very strong card. Now he is using the energy marker to play the 10 times Kamehameha to get rid of the Goku and one Piccolo. Three energy left to play Bardock here. Swing with Bardock. Use one card as a combo to use his effect to draw one card and resend him. Now he attacks with, I think, 30. There is a Jiren Awaken being a 25k leader now. There is a 10k in the hand, and he, he decided to just pass. No second swing with Bardock, but um, yeah, I get why, I get why. Because everyone knows that uh, Red is a 
a color in Dragon Ball that does uh, power reduce and yeah, if he's rested he can easily get rid of cards but Goku is enough to get rid of the Bardock so there is a second Goku and okay he decided to pass okay that's interesting to see because I know Mert I know how he is playing uh, against uh, Goku GT I saw it at the beginning of set 3 where our friends was testing and uh, that was his game plan yeah to just uh, yeah stuff him a little bit to force him to play the self awakeners from hand so we have Marvin playing two Goku Chaito to draw two cards and only two energy left so there is again no t no perfect turn for Marvin because yeah there is no secret rare in hand that would be perfect on four so that's the turn with four energy just two goku's childhood yeah and uh i forgot the name to be honest two times the machine that KOs a one drop on play and also our 10k so very good card to get rid of cards like this especially for a leader being 25 uh, 25k um yeah, Matt could easily use the 5Ks on the board to get rid of a 25K, so he don't have to use a card from hand, but now two are gone. Now we see a, a Wiz to KO, to KO one of the machines, and now the Jiren swing that goes through Jiren. Yeah, that is the best card in this deck. Such a powerful card. Once per turn, you cannot KO this card. And then um, the second effect is you can take one life, draw one card. Works very good with the leader ability. The leader ability say when you take damage, you draw one card. So with a Jiren, you, you take one life, then you draw one card, and then you uh, get one life back with the 4-drop Jiren, if I'm not wrong, if I if I understand the card right. <laughs> But uh should be like that. Okay, we see a pan, we see a Goku. Pan is very important now, like I said. Because if you use the second effect with an energy marker, you can bounce the four drop back to hand. And that's what happened here. So very important. Now the swings into leader with 25. Matt still needs to think what card to come out. Oh, he decided to take this swing. Wow. That's interesting to see. Now he goes down to two lives. But I'm pretty sure he is confident with his hand. Oh, and this card hurts a lot. So for two energy, you can destroy a card with I think 30k and if your opponent has four or more lives you can deal one damage to him or oh, uh, I think it was 25k so such a strong strong card now we see the Goku swing 25k needs to combo this one out 4-3 we see a Vegeta with effect He needs to discard two cards from hand. Let's see what cards he decided to trash away. There is a Gohan. And the event again. Now boost the uh, Vegeta. Marvin decided to take that one. And now KOing the Pan. And protecting himself because of his effects. Very strong card. And especially in combination with Kefla you can play this card out very strong very strong combination here very very strong but we know Kefla is only a one-off not back like in set two it was a four-off no you can only play one 
one Kevlar per copy for the red decks. So two lives, pretty good board. Seems like six cards in hand. And also one energy up. Marvin needs to make pressure now. So for three, we have the Goku GT that gets back an energy marker. For two, we have again a pawn. For one, we have a Sun Goku Childhood to draw one card. Now swing with palm. I still need to think. Should I swing Lila? Should I swing Goku? <laughs> Always to make clear how the effect from Dune works, yeah. It's just a very strong leader. Okay, so there is the pawn swing using the effect, bounce back the Vegeta. Matt decided to use the 5k from the field. Now again 25k. Okay, he has some combos on hand. So he can just counter this one out. Or combo. Sorry for that. In Dragon Ball it is combo, not counter. <laughs> Oh, okay. He decided to let him go. Now the leader swing with 20k. He needs to use combo power to attack the Jiren, but decided to not do that. Just draw one card. And now passing his turn. Now, Mert, again, turn player. So now we are coming to the interesting part of the game. Both players on two life. We start with a. I'm not sure. He wanted to swing with leader, but he will make. Sh he want to make sure if. How much super combos or combo powers he used already? There was no super combo. Used. Hmm. Ah, not not an easy decision to do here. So there is a five drop Goku with double strike in hand. That could end the game, but the question is, is it enough? Okay, but he starts with a leader swing. Twenty five into twenty. Marvin uses two five Ks. There is a Goku with double strike. And now let's see if this is going to be enough. So we have 35. Oh, I'm not always doing the same thing. Just put every counter here. 35. Uh, oh my god. Okay, 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 okay. Let's pause here. Let's pause. This was way too, way too fast. Let's pause the video because we want to see if it's enough. So we have a 35 swing. 35. 45, 55, uh, 75, 85, 95, 105, and this card also do 50, so it should be 130. Is it 100, 120k swing, 130k swing, something around, uh, something like that? And he got three super combos, yeah, and the rest are bricks, so it is enough. It is enough. Mert goes through with 3 0, winning this game. Pretty, yeah, pretty interesting matchup. It was a very well played game from both players. Marvin did his best with his hand. Um, yeah, his hand was not not perfect um, at the start. Um, Mert, uh, Mert hand was perfect at the start um, to play the one drops out to draw a card. Uh, he saw his Goku's. He saw his Jiren. He got the perfect finish. Well played here from Mert. Goes um, through with three zero now. Yeah, three zero. We have eight rounds to play for Swiss. So looking pretty good for Mert. Marvin still everything up with 2-1. And now we go to the interview with Mert. Let's see 
what he wants to say us. Hello, hello. Do you hear me, chat? Can you hear me? Yes, very nice. We got our winner here. We do an interview. Hello, hello, everyone. Hello, Aladdin. Hello, Falco. Santago, of course. Yeah. Nice game to watch. Jiren, just so powerful deck. And we got Mert right now doing the interview with us. I'm waiting for him. Next Manu Meta games in stream. He is right here. He's behind this camera. <laughs> He is right there. Maybe we can talk to him. Let me bring him. But they are talking a little bit. Let's go, Mart. <laughs> Mart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mert won the match. Well played there. Um, we have to bring Marvin against Mert because these two are friends of us and that's why Marvin was back to back on stream. But it was very nice to see. There he is. Join me, bro. Here's your microphone. First, congrats. Hello, this is Thank Matt. You. So, how do you feel after this win feel again? Good? Yeah. yeah. Okay. How do you feel after this win I'm against? I'm feeling Marvin? good. Um, I'm X zero now. Uh -huh. um, I played against. I know him. I know. Yeah. Him, I guess Marvin. He's a very good player. Yeah. yeah. And uh, Kiki. Mm -hmm. My game plan was that I not uh, let him awaken. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, that he not, not doesn't give a push. Yeah. And then I just play for uh, Sphere of Destruction to make it to three, and then Double slowly push, yeah, slowly yeah. push. And wow. later, the, the players uh, that I'm doing is from three to two with the Vegeta, 50k. Yeah. He can't destroy it. Destroy him, yeah. And the thing is, that you do is, you force him to play pen. You saw? Yeah, you need I to saw. play it. pen, he spawns yeah. his deck. Yes. And then I charge it and I wanted to bait him. Oh. Because if. Double Strike and Vegeta both are terrible for him. Yeah, terrible. And uh, he outcome with the first one. I was like, okay, uh, GT Black in general has a lot of bad hand cards. Yep. You saw it? But he has four super combos. Wow. <laughs> I was like, oh, fuck. Oh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we saw it. But you got it at the end. Exactly. It was a crazy match to watch. Yeah. So you have a strict game plan against yeah, yeah. Super yeah. Saiyan 4 or yeah. in general against Black? Yeah. And uh, what's important is no TOP arena. Yeah, yeah. It is. Two. It changed. It changed, yeah. Two, you're right. Today, a lot of red and black. Played it or play, don't play a lot it? Of, no, I didn't yeah. play it against. Uh, mm -hmm. But the black, a lot of black yeah. and red. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and yeah, yeah, yeah. So Beerus maybe. want to win again. Yeah, <laughs> 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 yeah maybe. We, we got. Now, Beerus was. Yeah, two, two regionals, two Beerus won. Uh, you have to wait, yeah, sorry. So, um, let's see. So, again. The top card is also today, and maybe we see you in the top card. I hope so, bro. You also, have, yeah, have you have uh, to. I have always a bad thing. Yeah. <laughs> Be, uh, bad bad luck for no heroes events. No, for no heroes events, not. Uh, <laughs> but a general, in general for Dragon yeah. Ball. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And Dragon Ball. Maybe you need to play One Piece. No. <laughs> <laughs> nah, Matt is a Dragon Ball lover. So, yeah, good, good luck for the rest. Maybe we Thank see you, you again Thanks on the stream. Bye-bye, no guys. Problem. So, this was Mert.